Okay, before I get this video started, I just want to give a shout out to MeWe. A lot of users are getting fed up with Facebook, and that's where they're going. You can look me up on there. I own or admin over 20 groups on MeWe. Now, today's video. I was on MeWe last week discussing the issue of Australia's gay marriage vote last week and some of some of the people on this said some really strange shit that I just want to sh want to share with you today it's crazy it really is but first I just want to give a quick explanation on how people can come up with crazy shit like this so let's get started. Okay, so here is the mass media. They tell us what they want to tell us. They don't tell us what they don't want to tell us. They're all politically correct about it. They get branded the liberal media. And we all know that at least some of what they're feeding us is a complete, heaping, badly drawn plate of bullshit. The general public the masses, the media's audience, thinking that they're a bunch of geniuses for having figured out what should be obvious to a 10-year-old that what they're seeing is bullshit, they go and look for a second opinion. So they jump online, they rattle keyboards, they go to tabloid stands, they go to sources who don't have to validate their information in any way, they don't have to provide sources they don't have to back up any of their claims. They're not really as subject to scrutiny as the mass media is. You get some truth in there, but you get a load of shit as well. You get all these crazy, wacko theories. And reality is, this is just nothing more than a different type of shit. So, we know everyone's already found the original shit to be disagreeable. That pretty much automatically gives the new shit more weight because, because we're looking for an opinion that's different to the one we've been given. So this gives us a metal situation where just because something sounds different to the original thing which we've established was bullshit, it must mean the new and different thing is not bullshit. Of course, if you can't see the problem with that, it's exactly the same as saying x does not equal 2, therefore x equals 6. So everyone pretty much decides that the more agreeable shit is the shit that's true, and the less agreeable shit is the shit that isn't true. So we go back and rebrand our media sources, fake media, and real media. Now with this false dichotomy in place, people start doing what they will with the new information. Let's, from this point on, because we've established that it's just nothing more than a different type of shit, let's just call it horse shit. So people start parading around their horse shit, sharing their horse shit with each other, and worshipping the horse shit. Okay, so now that we've established how people come to worship the media's horse shit, Let's get on with what one of these horse shit theories actually is. Apparently, Australian Parliament is filled with Muslims who want to introduce Sharia law into Australia, and the gay vote is proof of that because apparently Sharia law is in line with more sexual freedom. Because you know all that stuff we used to hear about Islam? Well, apparently that's all bullshit now. And Muslims are all queer. Well, obviously that's all a big heap of horse shit. So if there's anything you can take from today's video, it's if you drop a bag of coke in the gutter, don't get down on your hands and knees and snort it all up. For those of you in Australia who haven't filled out your forms yet, 
If you want to vote no for marriage equality because you believe this horse shit, go ahead. I can't stop you. I'll just call you a horse shit worshipping gutter crack snorkeler. For everyone else that still has full possession of their mental faculties, please use the scientific method when obtaining new data. A magazine article or website that says something is true isn't proof. 